roll the shoulders back. Let's just inhale and exhale. And as usual, I'll invite you to put an intention for your practice today. Sometimes putting intentions might feel like, oh, I don't know what to think about. So you can always repeat the same intention day after day until it becomes so. Or you could also think of something, something perhaps that you figure out, some, something that you surprise yourself with. It can be from a recent past or from a far away past. We all get clever at certain things and we need to celebrate those things. And when we celebrate those things, more of those will come to being. Bring your hands together and bow to your heart, bow to yourselves. Then open your eyes and bow to each other. Namaste, everybody. Namaste. Good. So we're going to use the Vishnu Mudra with the index finger and middle finger on your right hand. You will see it as if it was my left, but it's my right hand. Thumb and ring finger are going to gently cover your right and left nostril. So just cover one nostril and exhale, inhale, and then cover the other nostril and exhale, inhale. That's it. If you do need a handkerchief, <laughs> get it. You will find that one nostril is more blocked than the other. So use your, um, your breath as if you were breathing equally. So this is normal. Every 60 to 90 minutes, we change the nostril that we breathe through. The connection seemed to be a bit uh, flimsy there. Do you hear me okay, Hira? So just, just used the alternate nostril. Here we go. Inhale through both nostrils. Cover your right nostril and exhale fully through your left. The other hand you can have in Chin Mudra. And we are starting inhaling left. Close your left nostril, exhale right. Inhale right. Close your left, right nostril, exhale left. You can close your eyes. This is one cycle, inhale left. Close the left nostril, exhale right. Inhale right. Close your right nostril, exhale left. Inhale left. Close, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close, exhale, left. Last round, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Exhale. Good. And release your hands over your lap, over your legs, just for a moment. Keep your eyes closed. Breathe in deeply. An alternate nostril breathing or Nadi Shodhana balances the right and left side of the brain. Inhale, open your eyes and come into all fours, please. Roll over your knees, coming into all fours. And just feel your way around it. Just move your back, making circles with your back. And maybe making circles around the floor. So feeling the weight on your hands and your knees. And then coming back to center, we're going to open up the upper body. So keep your belly in, inhale, bring your right arm up. Stretch up, looking towards the sky, feel this. Opening on the ribs and then exhale, thread your right hand through. And take three big breaths in here. Inhale, bring it up. Open again, feel how this is different from the first time. And exhale, release, inhale, bring them up, opening towards the sky. And exhale, thread it through. And three deep breaths in here. So your temple is on the floor, the side of the head. The chin is towards your chest. So don't force it too much. Inhale, bring it all the way up and exhale, release. Good, using your core muscles, we're going to bring opposite hand and leg up. So it doesn't matter which side you start with, bring opposite hand and leg up and try to stay as square as you can be. Inhale here, exhale. Knee and elbow meet. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it together. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend arm and leg and stay there. Soften your gaze, soften your eyes. And release. Good. If you need to pad your knees, please always take care of the parts of the body that are in contact with the floor. I have carpet here, so it's quite comfy, but if you have hard floor, you might benefit from a blanket under your knees. Opposite arm and leg. Your gaze is down towards the floor so that your neck is long. Inhale here, exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, exhale, don't rush it. Just feel the whole process, inhale. Stay there, soften your gaze. And exhale, release. Shake it all around, do any moves that you might want to do. Tuck your toes, walk your hands a little bit forwards and push into your hands, bringing your knees up, just let your chin go towards your chest, and then stretch into your downward facing dog. And walk your dog, releasing the heels towards the floor, shake your head, not your head. 
Good. And look towards your hands. Walk your feet towards your hands. Walk, 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 walk. Soften your knees and let your upper body just stay side to side. Your knees are really soft. Bend your right knee and walk both hands towards your right hand side. So we are twisting. Bend your left knee and walk both hands towards the left hand side. And bring yourselves back to center. Roll it up into standing vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale, bring your arms around and up. Joining your palms together and exhale. Bring your hands towards your heart. Good. Every, everybody there? I know Maxine cut off, so I don't know if uh, if she's around. Hopefully she's okay. And coming to the front of your mats, we're going to do a little flow. <clears throat> but we're going to do it really slowly, so I want you to feel your way around it and feel what's right for you. If you want, you can have blocks nearby or a chair just to give you a bit of support. So inhale, bring your hands by the side into your Tadasana pose, mountain pose. You can close your eyes for a moment, just feeling everything engaged. So in Tadasana, I'm not just waiting. Um, Expanding, contracting my lower abdomen, feeling really my way here. And my hands are by the sides of the body. I don't have the hands up. I just keep them by the side, but they are engaged. They are not relaxed, they are engaged. Good. Inhale, bring your arms around and up. Join your hands above your head and arch a little bit. Think about arching upwards, not backwards. And exhale, fold forwards, softening your knees. Inhale, extend your legs, bring your hands onto your shins, flatten your back. And exhale, hands by the sides of your feet. Bring your right leg back. Open your chest and lower your hip. And bring your hands to the inside of your leg stretching the inner, inner thigh. Your left elbow is against your left knee just to support that knee. Good. And come back into your low lunge. Bring your hip forwards and bring your arms up and open up. Anjali Asana. So my toes are on the floor, my chest is open, my belly's expanding, my back is arching. Exhale, release the hands onto the floor, bring the leg back into a supported plank. So your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are on the floor. Open your chest, have your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, and as you exhale, fold halfway and stay there and breathe. Shoulders are back. Elbows are by the sides of the ribs. They are hugging the ribs. One more breath. Inhale, come into your child's pose. So we're building up our strength in our arms and our pectoral muscles. You might feel it that they come into action. Inhale, look towards your hands, contract your pelvic floor and your belly. You are getting prepared. Bring yourselves forwards, chest over your wrists. Inhale, exhale, come halfway, practicing your chaturanga, breathing deeply. 
resist. I know it's, it's tough. Exhale, come back. So we are not resting the belly on the floor. We're just staying with the collarbones away from each other. One more time. If you are a seasoned yogi and you want to do your chaturanga from plank, you can. Even though you're getting tired, it doesn't matter. If you're new, please stay with your knees on the floor and if you're tired as well. Inhale, and as you exhale, bend your elbows by the side of the body and breathe and hold. Observe your internal dialogue, breathe. Hold, push it up, and come into your downward facing dog for a stretch. Breathe deeply. Inhale, look towards your hands and walk step by step towards your hands. Walk, walk, walk. Flatten your back. Exhale, soften your legs and fold forwards. Inhale, rolling up into standing. Bring your arms around and up. And exhale. Release. Good, we're going to do it again. So start in Tadasana. Come to the front of your mat if you lose it. If you lost it. Good. Tadasana, everything engaged. Your toes are spread, your pelvic floor is in and up, lower abdomen engaged, shoulders back and up. It's not the same to stand relaxed than to stand fully aware. It's like standing to attention, but not like in the military. You're paying attention to yourselves. You're paying attention to your body. You're bringing your mind into your body. Inhale here, exhale, hands to your heart, samastiti here. Inhale, arms up, expand towards the sky. Exhale, soften your knees and fold forwards. Inhale, extend your legs, hands up to your shins, flatten your back. Exhale, fingertips by the sides of your feet and bring your left leg back into a low lunge. Be fully in low lunge, the back heel is pushing away. And we walk the hands to the inside of the right leg. The foot might turn in a little bit if you want. That's absolutely fine. And I'm putting my left, my right elbow onto my right knee, supporting the knee so that it doesn't come forwards too much. So we don't want the knee to, to come in like this. We want to send the knee that way and let the inner thigh stretch. Good, so you don't need to flex your knee too much. If it feels okay, you can, but otherwise you can keep the hips up. And bring yourselves back to center. Keep your back toes on the floor, the left knees back. And open up into Anjali, Anjali Asana. Breathe. In, exhale, release the hands by the sides of the front foot, bring the leg back into plank. So take your time to take your plank position. In plank, our chest is over our wrists. The knees can be on the floor or off the floor. There should not be much movement of your hips. So see that if I have my chest over my wrist, and I already feel that discomfort that um, the effort brings, I could bring my legs up without having to modify my chest position. If I was here, then I will have to come forwards because my chest is not in the right position. So find your, your position. We're going to do three chaturangas as before, so don't start hard. <laughs> you, you can start with your knees on the floor. Inhale, your belly's in. I put the flaps of my t-shirt in so that you can see 
Better. Your belly's in, your shoulders are back and down. Inhale, and as you exhale, release halfway and breathe for one. Breathe for two. And three. And come into your child's pose. Inhale, look forwards. We can do this. Come onto your wrists, opening your chest. You can tuck your toes under or have your feet relax. I like tucking them under. Inhale here. Elbows by the sides of your ribs. And lowering halfway for one. And two. We are here for the long run. So breathe three. And child's pose. We will stretch the arms afterwards, don't worry. So one more, last one. Can you come into full plank? I know your arms and your wrists are feeling tired, but if you wanna try it, you can. Inhale, bring your chest over your wrists and lower down for one. And two, and three. Push it back into downward facing dog. And if you weren't able to do all of those, don't worry. It's a process and we're building it. Inhale, look towards your hands and walk your feet towards your hands. Step by step by step. Inhale, flatten your back. Exhale, fold forwards. Let the whole body be relaxed towards the floor. And pushing yourselves up into standing. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, hands towards your heart. Good. Shake your arms, shake your legs. We're going to do a little balance and um, eagle's pose. So bring your arms parallel to the floor and cross your right knee over your left. If you have good balance, you can take it behind your calf muscle. Otherwise, just touch the floor. Bring your right elbow underneath your left. So we are wrapping around elbows and legs. Inhale, lift your elbows and breathe. Keeping your balance, opening the back. If you want a further stretch over your shoulders, you can bring your elbows towards your knees. Inhale, bring it up and expand and release. Check from the shoulders. Let's do the other leg. It's so nice to stretch when you have been using the muscles and you can feel them, you can feel them working. Bring your left and your right knee over your left, no, left knee over right this time. And left elbow underneath the right. That's it, good. So if you can't take it behind, Touch the floor, it doesn't matter, don't force it. Inhale, lift your elbows. Relax between your shoulders. And you can stay here or bring your chest down, bringing your elbows towards your knees. Inhale, bring it up. And release and shake it. Good. Shake, shake, shake. And come into onto the floor for Shavasana or just sitting in meditation. Whatever you feel like. Good. So if you're seated cross-legged, just you can rest your back against the a sofa or a wall if you want to, 
or have a cushion underneath your, your hips. Roll the shoulders back if you're sitting on the floor. That's it. We can feel our shoulders today, can't we? <laughs> I can. And close your eyes for a moment. Inhaling and exhaling. You might still feel your heart beats a little bit fast. So breathe and relax. Give yourselves a little smile. We're going to finish our practice with three arms and shanties. If you're lying on the floor and you want to stay there, feel free to do that. And if you are deciding to come up, just have a little stretch and come into sitting. Inhale to begin, inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om peace, peace, peace. Bring your palms together. Rub your palms. Make the movement a little faster, generating prana life energy between your hands. And place your palms over your face. Inhale deeply. Open your eyes to the darkness of your hands. Slide your hands to your chest and bow your head. Namaste. Give yourselves a clap. Well done.